my name is Martha Zink and I'm with Saline Consulting and this is another video in the series Unboxing FileMaker 14. In this video I'm going to focus on one of the newest and coolest things in FileMaker 14 and that's the script workspace. In this video I'm going to specifically focus on the new interface. In another video I'll be talking more about the keyboard shortcuts and the way to use the keyboard to move around the interface. So let's dig in. I'm going to choose the scripts menu and choose script workspace and I'm going to see on the left hand side all of the scripts that exist in the current solution. So if I choose one of those in the middle panel I'll see the actual script steps for that script and on the right hand side I'll see all of the scripts that I can actually add to the script. Jumping back to the first panel, let's just kind of walk through these buttons. So at the very top I can create a new script with the plus button. I can run a script, then I can run the script but with the debugger. So if I were to click on the little bug, then I get the script debugger popping up and then I have the ability to do what I want here. So I can run through the script, I can stop the script, I can jump through script steps, all that kind of fun stuff. So let me close that out and jump over to my script workspace again. Now right here within that scripting panel I have the ability to show or hide the checkbox that says whether or not a script will show up on the scripts menu. And then I can click this button to add a folder or click this button to include a separator. So if I click on that it just adds a separator. And again it's just about organizing our scripts and keeping them as tidy as we can. So I'm going to double click on on open and then I'm going to double click on on close. And as I start clicking on new scripts, I, as I double click, basically they each get their own tab in the panel. So I have four scripts open here. Back in the on open script, if I were to add something trivial like comment, you'll see that the asterisk shows up in the actual title of the tab and that basically says that the script has been modified but the script has not been saved yet. So if I try to close it out, I'm going to get my normal message here asking me if I want to save it or not. I'm going to go ahead and say don't save and then it closes. Let me close a few more of these here. Let's double click on unopen again. Now let me quickly open up two scripts again. One of the things that I find in FileMaker is that I want to compare my scripts. So sometimes I'll have two scripts that are similar or maybe I'm trying to mimic some type of technique. So it's nice to have these scripts side by side. Initially I got a little worried thinking I couldn't do that but actually they did give us the functionality. So if I wanted to have this looping script example in a separate window, I can right click and choose move tab to new window and you'll see that it becomes its own separate window and now I have the ability to compare my on open with my looping script example. Let me go ahead and close this script step here and we'll focus back on the main window. One of the biggest things in my mind is the fact that now scripts are color coded and you can actually modify the colors that show up. So if I go to the view menu and choose syntax coloring, FileMaker gives me five different types of things that will be color coded. Generally speaking, most things will be in black text, but then there are certain things that should be highlighted or that can be highlighted so that they stand out. Script flow is something like loop if perform script. Disabled means that it's turned off. Incompatible, so you have the ability to look at a script and look at only the things that are compatible in a specific environment. So show me things that are compatible with FileMaker Go or WebDirect. You can have the comments be colored differently as well as any fields. So in the background you'll see this set field and you'll see that the actual field is colored purple. Two other minor things that I think are maybe minor in the grand scheme of things but as developers really make a big difference. The first rows are all actually numbered now, which is going to be great for collaboration. I can talk to another developer and I can say, hey, can you check out the looping script example script and can you look at line five through eight? Something's funny there. I don't know what's going on. It's just an easier way to communicate and it's also an easier way to take notes if you know that you're troubleshooting different things. And you can actually have blank rows. So now after the set field, there's just a space there. There's no actual script step. There's no comment. It's just a blank line that actually helps separate those scripts so it's easier to read. It doesn't affect the script and its process at all. It actually just helps the user read it a little bit better. Now over on the third panel, we have all of the script steps that we've seen before. So I can go over here and double click on any of these. So if I double click on if, I get my if and my end if. In some cases where it makes sense, FileMaker will drop you off within the calculation. So I can go in here and start typing whatever my logic is. I can also click on the FX and that will actually open up the calculation dialog. So the old functionality is still there. Now if you look over on the right hand side, one of the biggest features, especially for newer users, is the ability to search through steps. If I knew I wanted to do something with a field, but I couldn't remember what it was called, I can type in field and I can go, ah, oh, yeah, that's right, it was set field or whatever it may be. And then right from here I can double click and it gets dropped right into my script. The other thing I love is the ability to choose favorites. 
There are a collection of script steps that we repeat over and over again in almost every script. Things like set field, an if statement, loops, setting a variable. So being able to add those to the favorites is really nice. And you don't have to either search or just hunt through the list for them. So an example would be show custom dialogue from my pre-14 days. I know I was always near the bottom and then I would double click on it. I would go do something else, but I always had to hunt for it. Well, now I can choose show custom dialogue. I can right click and I can say add to favorites. And if I go all the way to the top now, it's right there in my favorites. Again, I don't have to hunt for it. It's just at the top. FileMaker will default a few of the really common ones for you. Let's say you don't want to go to layout one in there. You can always click on the star or you can right click and say remove from favorites. And then I had mentioned compatibility a little bit ago. Up here I can click on this icon and right now we're looking at all script steps, but I can be more specific and say show me script steps that are compatible on server. And you'll see that the ones that aren't compatible are going to be grayed out. So things like show custom dialogue or perform script on server. We'll go ahead and change that back to all. One other little minor thing about this third panel is the ability to click on this script step and get a description as to what it's actually going to do. Now it's just a quick little description, it's not a full-fledged explanation. But you can always click on the question mark and it'll actually open up FileMaker Pro Help and give you all of the other details that come with the software. So it's really nice when you think you know what something does or maybe you've never heard of a script step and being able to dive into what it's going to do or what it's requiring you to provide. Well, I think that's the quick and dirty of the new script workspace. I really just wanted to kind of lay out what the different components are. For a long time developer, this is a really big change. And then for a new developer, it's really a whole new interface. Please make sure to keep up with the Unboxing FileMaker 14 series. There will be another video on the script workspace and the keyboard shortcuts and how to stay on the keyboard while creating your scripts and editing them as well. So hopefully you'll find that very useful. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to the Salient TV YouTube channel. Thank you so much.